Jace Tunnel here for Mission Aransas Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. We just had a crazy cold stunning event. Uh, the, uh, it's like the lowest temperatures on record in a long time. But look at all the fish. Not only uh, sea turtles, but fish. So these are uh, puffer fish, burr fish, a lot of people call them, uh, along with a lot of hard heads. Every once in a while, you'll see a different kind of fish in here. Uh, I was seeing a snapper and what a, one, I always saw like one redfish. There are some pretty large stingrays that are further down there. But the real unfortunate thing are these green sea turtles. And so these right here are dead already. Uh, but the, you know, whenever the water temperatures get below 50 degrees, their metabolism goes way down and they really just have a hard time surviving so if we don't find them in time of course uh you know the cold weather gets them they drown uh predation can happen so they start getting you know um, uh, ants uh, coyotes you know all kinds of stuff like that can come up and get on them but uh, super super unfortunate and i'll show you some f uh, video footage of the Amos Rehabilitation Keep staff of what they do whenever they come up on these sea turtles. Uh, whenever they're alive, they take them back, try to rehabilitate them until the water temperatures get above about 55 degrees and they can release them again. But there's a number of different organizations and partners we work with for that. So uh, let me show you some of the video coming up. We had crews, volunteers, uh, all around the community that were going out, searching the shorelines, even staff members the first couple of days going out looking for sea turtles. There was lots of fish just scattered along the shoreline. It was crazy. So some of the staff went out with nets, uh, pulling turtles out of the marinas. Going throughout the wetlands, uh, just had buckets and putting all the sea turtles in the buckets and then once they'd get them to an area where they could be put into vehicles, they were pushed up into vehicles to be transported back to the ark. We actually had folks coming in from their own boats. The boats would be lining up in the marina and people just coming off with turtles. Once we'd actually get the turtles back to campus uh, at the university, we were taking, in, we had so many of them coming in, we were taking them into the audit auditorium and just putting them, you know, out on uh, dry, the dry floor and some of the larger ones we would try to we'd wait 24 hours and we try to put them into the water to try to try to swim test them and so that they'd be ready for release the others we actually put vaseline on them so that their shell wouldn't dry out and peel up and then we also go through check their blood uh, veterinarians there to give them fluids if they needed it we would actually measure each of the turtles. Then we had truckloads coming in, so the Padre Island National Seashore. They were kind of a hub for all the sea turtles coming in, and then they would distribute to Texas State Aquarium, the Texas Sea Life Center, and then the Amos Rehabilitation well, Keep. Uh, and we'd put the Vaseline on them, then we'd also have eye drops that we'd, we'd put in, and that would also help with them being you know, not in the water, so, since they're made for being in the water. Then we would uh, swim test them. So we would put them into the water, make sure they could swim, uh, dive, and then we knew they were ready to go back 
into the water once the water was warm enough. We ended up getting over 1,200 sea turtles into the ark. Uh, about 900 of those were alive. Then we got the call saying that we had boats that would take us offshore, so we started loading up all the sea turtles to put them into U-Haul trucks and then give, get them over to the boats to where then they could be taken offshore. So the Fisherman's Wharf is a place in Port Aransas that offered up a couple of their boats, the Scat Cat and the Wharf Cat, and there was like an assembly line of folks that were getting the turtles and putting them on the deck of the boat. Uh, that was protected by, you know, large gunnels uh, from the wind and all that. But the temperatures had actually warmed up to, you know, around 60 degrees uh, air temperature. So it was a nice boat ride, you know, 20 miles offshore, but there were turtles just scattered on the deck of the boat. It was a pretty wild scene. Once we got out there, we had a modified slide yep. that we'd put the turtles on and then slide them down into the water. So we had about 550 sea turtles that were on this boat, the first ones out, and we just started pushing all the sea turtles out to the ocean and they swam off as fast as they could. It was a pretty amazing sight. Okay, well, that was eight days of craziness with over 1,200 turtles coming in. We finally got all those out the door. We kept about 20 that we're gonna keep to rehab, um, you know, we've got veterinarians that can do surgery, give medicines and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we'll be working on over the next, um, some of them will be a week, some of them we might have for months. But if you're interested in uh, helping out and you wanna get involved, um, you know, because it's a pandemic, we still can't have volunteers, uh, but hopefully by this summer of 2021, we be, we'll be able to. Otherwise, we have a friends group. If you donate to the friends group, 100% of those donations uh, go to the, the ark to be able to save these animals. And so if you'd like to be able to donate, go to friendsoftheark.org and click on donate. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll use those funds to be able to save sea turtles and birds. So till next time, well, hopefully it's not, it's not the next time that uh, was like this one. But until uh, next time, we'll see you. Thank you. Bye.